This is Peter's bag. This is a heavy bag. I wonder where Peter is though. Oh, there he is. I need you to tell me about what's in this bag. Okay. <sighs> what do you want to know? So this thing weighs more than a truck. <laughs> it does, it is extremely heavy. <laughs> but also, I've been watching you use this camera bag yeah. for days now, and it's fascinating. <laughs> it's like the most optimized <laughs> setup that I've seen, and I have questions, so might as well record the questions. PDY take one mo camera bag, I think it's called. I really like it because it looks sleek, and I've been trying so many different camera bags <laughs> lately and trying to find the optimum setup, but when it comes to trying traveling, I found this to be the one that works the best lately, mainly because you can open it from the back. I love being able to put down my camera bag, just choo -choo -choo -choo, having yeah. access to everything. And you use your stuff. So the bag gets dropped, thrown, picked yes. up, dropped, thrown, dirt, concrete. A lot. Yeah. Let's start outside first. The tripod that I got is the PGY Tech Mantis Pod. This is my favorite vlogging tripod right now because it's lightweight, doesn't take up much space, it fits perfectly, and when you have a camera bag on you, you can actually reach back and grab it from like this angle, and it's so good. And being able to get those low shots and having the ball head joint mm -hmm. makes for a huge difference. I haven't seen the Mantis Pod before, but man, this pod is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the hype though is not hype with this because that was my question. I've seen it. I've seen the videos. Yes. This is like legit. It is. I would say that the only thing that could make this better is if all the legs were made of metal because right now it's some sort of like hard plastic oh. and you have a little bit of like tolerance that gives away and there's like feels like it could have been a little bit sturdier. It's the best thing so far, but it could be better. Okay. But before we even go to your bag, because you have it. You have the outside optimized. So you have your slingshot, or yes. you have the Mantis pod there, yeah. and then you have stuff like on the strap. On the strap, I got the Peak Design, I don't know what it's called, basically a quick lock for your camera. So you can put your camera here if you have the Peak Design plates. Once I'm vlogging, it's very simple to just put the camera down, and then I can access it as quickly. I don't have to take down my camera bag and then just yeah. grab it, put it down, and this and that. And you've never had it almost fall or anything? No, never. It is dead on here <laughs> and the camera like once it's stuck it's stuck this one has been a game changer especially when you're on the go when I'm doing like the travel vlog that you've seen on my vlog channel it is great to be able to have this because then you can access it super quick on this shoulder strap there's a little bit of a pocket where I have all the extra stuff that I need. So if I lose one of the plates, I have another one right here. There's Just... a lot of things that start with P's. There's the PGY Tech, the Peak Design, <laughs> and the plates in the pockets Yes. on Peter's bag. You can store stuff here such as Allen keys. I have different plates. I can have all the things that I need quick access to if I lose something, because that yeah. is that for me is the most important have, That's thing. what I noticed is you have so many spares of yes. things. Because between gimbals and cages and tripods and all the things, you need like little tools that you, so easy to forget, so easy to yeah. lose. There's been so many times where I have forgotten stuff at the studio. So I've started to like buy extra stuff and just put in yeah. the camera bag so that I know it's just in the camera bag. I don't have to worry if I forget anything. And then if I pack some extra, it's still there. Yeah, Here is you go. a golden light going to, going to come out of here as soon as I, it's gonna be like the Pulp Fiction case yeah. where it's like, we can start with the laptop. I oh, got it. I didn't know it was in there. <laughs> it's the MacBook Pro M1, <laughs> one of the best laptops that I've ever used. It was actually you that convinced me to yes. to get it. The M1s are so freaking good. It's, it's on a different level. It's not even comparable. So, do you keep this in this configuration most of the time, or do you switch it around? No, this configuration is the one that I've found to be the most optimal for what I do. Okay, because you have two big pockets here and like three smaller pockets here. Yes. Up in this pocket, I got the DJI Mini 3 Pro. It is one of the best drones that I've flown lately. The size of it, together with the controller and the image quality, everything is just like on point with this drone. And I love it. Super lightweight, so it doesn't break your back. Yeah. Like if I were to carry the Mavic 3 with two extra batteries, it's like, oh, I'm gonna yeah. fall over. And then, of course, I have the extra batteries from the Flymore kit. This also acts as a power bank, so you can have something connected to the USB port and charge it while you're on the go. I actually charge my camera batteries for the A7S 3 with this. Oh, seriously? Pump. Yes. Because the A7S 3 runs off of USB power too, so you could, yeah, in theory, also power the camera. Probably. Some extra props. Props. props is, is. <laughs> Propellers. I got a mobile holder, peak design plate, so I can attach it to my Mantis pod if I want to shoot something with my phone. 
and you smack it on there, and then you. Does this doesn't this fit into the mantis pod? Yes, it does. Cool. So you can just fold this up and then put it into the actual mantis pod in here. Yeah, because yesterday when we were filming stuff together, every time there was like, oh, do you need this? Do you need that? You'd be like, no, I got it. And then it would come out of a compartment or it'd come out of there and you're like, I have that very specific thing. And I was like, okay, I don't need to be prepared. I'm, I'm trying to have one of the most optimum setups for what I'm doing. I think that that is one of the most important things when it comes to creating content fast. Right. Because if you're not optimized, then it's just going to take longer time. Well, we're also on the other side of the planet from your studio right now, and this is everything you have. So do you feel satisfied how it's worked out? Very much. This is the necklace for the DJI Action 2. Oh. If I want to get some POV shots with both of my hands, I have this in the camera bag at all times. Here is my old Sony oh, they're broken. <laughs> XMW something 3000, I don't know. Those are your editing headphones, yeah? Those are my editing on the go headphones because they still have a plug. Mm -hmm. Very good to have and good audio. Lenses. One of my absolute favorites, the Sigma 100-400. I love the compression that you get out of this. One of the photos that we took yesterday looked so insane, especially when the sunset in the background, you know, bah. Yeah, I think it's easy, speaking from experience, thinking that like, oh, I don't, I'm not like a nature photographer. I don't need a yeah. 400 millimeter lens, but this is going to be like my next lens purchase. It gives you a totally different perspective of what you're used to. Yeah. When you have 100 to 200, that's kind of like within the realm of what most people shoot. <laughs> But then if you go up to like 400, that is something that looks completely different. It looks like something from an action movie. Yeah. It's super compressed and everything behind you looks like it's super close, but also really big and such a weird thing. Because when we were shooting yesterday, you'd be like, okay, stand here. And then you'd run, <laughs> so I could like barely see you and then like, <laughs> <laughs> and the lens would go out and then the photo looks so good. It's a good lens. I love it. I think it's also very much like for the price that you pay, a lot of value. What else lenses do we got? This one. I'm going to blame Peter, Mr. McKinnon for this. A 50 millimeter f1.2. I love it. Way too expensive yeah. for what you get. It's not something that I recommend to anyone that is not making a living out of this because this is a lens that is made for professionals. Yeah. So if, if you're a hobbyist, then make sure that you have the money to actually spend for this and don't buy it because you have like a gear need gear or like obsession. feel that I I won't need this. <laughs> I won't right? Need this. Yeah, because if that's what you think, then it turns out you won't need it. Oof. I have the 50 millimeter 1.8, the yeah. plastic fantastic. It's okay. When I use it, sometimes people think I'm using a lower quality camera ah. when I cut between them because it's the lens. So there is something to be said for not Absolutely. getting the cheapest one. Absolutely. If you're eyeballing this lens to begin with, then go for this lens, save up the money, get this lens because you will regret not getting this lens to begin with. Yeah, you buy a cheaper one and then you'll also buy yeah. a more expensive one. It's been like that ever since I started. I buy the cheapest lens and then I want to have the most expensive lens and then I buy another lens and then, yeah. Yeah, let's with, talk about this, the Canon, this is the uh, Canon R5. Yeah, the Canon R3. No, of course I'm sticking with the Sony, come on. A7S3 together with the 1635 f2.8. It's currently a loaner that I got from Sony, mine is on repair. Thank you, Sony, for sending this over. This is probably the setup that I will use for the foreseeable future. It does everything. The next four years, I'm probably not gonna switch cameras. I'm gonna say it right now, I'm gonna stay true to my word. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I have no idea what is in store for the future, but it has been incredibly good so far yeah. for the two years that I've had it. And I feel absolutely no need for something else. There's nothing that I feel is missing from this. For what I do, this, is it. I think that's the key for what I do because everybody's yeah. workflow is a little different. So it's not that right. there's the one for everybody, but the Sony camera we're filming this on, <laughs> I bought a year ago because of you telling me to and I left Canon after since 2007 to 2021 for that camera. I now have that and the FX3 <laughs> and the a7 IV. Also, when it comes to the filters that I use, I got a lot of questions about the ring that is on my lens, but it's the Freewell magnetic lens filters. The reason I like these is because you can just smack them on and then take them off. You don't have to screw yeah. anything on. It is super simple. It costs way too much, but it also makes it way, way easier to shoot videos on the go. In our day out yesterday, I think I saw you, t I can't even count the times I saw you take that on and off because it was just constantly yeah and it wasn't like, an click, issue click 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 take it on it makes those sounds too we have a case for the memory cards this is something that i started using recently actually you have the same case yeah yeah it's nice to be able to have everything in one so that you don't just put your memories cards down in the camera bag and you never find them again especially on cameras like these where the memory cards are not cheap yes they cost a buttload of money it's hard drives honestly do not care which brand of SSD. It's that just SSD. 
by SSD drives, USB-C, it's gonna be more than sufficient. Always two or three of these in my camera bag whenever I'm traveling. A little bit of charging cables, some extra batteries. This yes. is also a neat feature. You have a battery case in here. What? That you can <gasps> you can mark. You can mark when they're charged and not yeah. <sighs> And just take it and then you mark the red thing. and then you're done. See, when that happens, you know the thing was made by people who actually like yes. use these things. As I told Tom, and as I said on my Twitter the other day, I would love to have like a dedicated adapter with USB-C ports in the camera bag and a plug that you can just fold out. And so you plug in plug your bag every, discreetly yeah. and now your bag can power everything. Exactly. How good would that be? It'd be great. Yeah. It'd you be see how sweaty I am? <laughs> <laughs> We're in the desert. It is incredibly hot out here. I'm not used to this. Yeah. You see this? This is sweat. I think we're done. I think we're done. 35 degrees Celsius. Yeah. Midday. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I'm done. I'm gonna have a beer and I'm gonna walk in. You can pack down the camera bag, okay? I'll make sure you get most of this back. You sure? Most of it. Okay. You pack it down. And bring it back to me. Hold yeah. Me. Yeah, definitely. With everything in it. Yes. Yes. You sure? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're just gonna have enough beer, okay? Yeah, it's good.